When his son was run down and killed four years ago, Nigel Westlake was so grief-stricken he gave up music. Twelve months on, the celebrated Sydney composer changed his mind, writing a symphony to honour the memory of his 21-year-old. Requiem for Eli has now won the nation's top orchestral award. This was the end of a musical journey that Nigel Westlake could never have imagined. His peers voted his requiem for his murdered son Eli the best orchestral work of the year. This was my way of putting my son's uh, spirit to rest. Um, you know, his, his life was taken by another and I always felt that there was a great sense of restlessness around his spirit, certainly around my spirit. <laughs> Mrs Solis, meaning the Mass of the Sun, was performed by both the Melbourne and Sydney symphonies. For a year I, I didn't write at all and then when I came back into the studio I thought, you know, I've, I've, got to, I've got to move on, I've got to create something, I can't just spend the rest of my life uh, in perpetual grief. Sarah May Ward is serving a 25-year jail sentence for deliberately running over Eli Westlake. His family's grief will last longer. The Art Music Awards also honoured Peter Sculthorpe for distinguished services to Australian music. The Taswegian recalled a career highlight in the 1950s that he missed seeing because he was too poor. Louis Armstrong played a piece of mine in the old Sydney Stadium in Rushcutters Bay. And uh, that was really exciting, but I'd returned to Tasmania and I, I just couldn't afford the fare to come to Sydney to hear it. Like his friend Jimmy Little, who died this week, Sculthorpe was declared a living national treasure and received a doctorate from Sydney University. What a wonderful man he was. The Australian String Quartet highlighted Peter Sculthorpe's love of Indigenous music by playing his composition, Jabberoo Dreaming. Anne-Maria Nicholson, ABC News.